How many times have you said, I have a feeling about this, or I feel it in my stomach or bones. It turned out that way. People called you psychic. Fun fact, you're actually not being mystical. There's an extremely interesting scientific basis to why you're basically a walking prediction engine with digestive anxiety. The phrase, I have a feeling, sounds emotional. Biologically, it's literal. Your body is the original sensor array. The feeling you call intuition is your nervous system's push notification. Scientists call it interoception, the ability to sense the state of your internal organs. Heart rate, gut motility, hormone surges, micro tremors, all of that gets summarized into one headline your brain reads as, I have a good or bad feeling about this. That flutter in your stomach, that's your enteric nervous system, also known as the second brain. Roughly 500 million neurons texting your real brain through the vagus nerve. Before your cortex can form a thought, your viscera have already voted. Your ancestors needed that. If they paused to run Bayesian analysis on a rustling bush, they became lunch. Sorry for the data science talk, it's literally one of my jobs. So, natural selection hard-coded a fast channel. Body first, cognition later. The modern equivalent to this would be like, you're, you go someone before you know why, and three days later realize it was because of their crypto startup. You know, gave you like saber to tiger vibes. Historically, people knew this connection, they just described it differently. Hippocratic medicine considered emotions moving through four humors, as in body fluids. Victorians called it nervous disposition. Darwin, ever the realist, wrote about this space in The Expression of the Emotions in 1872. And a century later, neuroscientist Antonio Damasio gave it modern grammar, the somatic marker hypothesis. It's like your brain tags experiences with bodily cues, so the next time something similar happens, you get a gut ping. It's machine learning, but made of cortisol. So when you say, I feel it in my bones, that's not poetic excess. Bone cells actually contain mechanoreceptors that actually work with hormones. So long-term anxiety literally aches. Your skeleton might be doing sentiment analysis. And I've got a bad feeling about this. That's like prediction error signaling in the anterior insula, the region assembling subjective feeling states. Comparing what should happen to what your senses are screaming is happening. And if that mismatch is more than a certain threshold, that creates unease, the map of intuition. So intuition isn't magic. It's pre-conscious data integration. Your body runs a Bayesian prior on every life event and emails your mind the subject line, maybe don't. Of course, sometimes your body's Wi-Fi lags, trauma corrupts the data set, caffeine distorts the signal, and next thing you know, your gut feeling is just dehydration. But when it's calibrated, when body and brain are actually syncing, intuition is the fastest cognitive algorithm we've got. So the next time you just have a feeling, don't dismiss it as nonsense. It's literally your body memory and therefore the most you thing there is. Be gentle with yourself.